Nearly 400,000 Californians could lose access to food stamps under new changes by the Trump administration. And today, 14 states, including California, filed a lawsuit trying to block those changes from kicking in. Our 10 News anchor Derek Stahl explains the impact here in San Diego. I go from anywhere from demolition to flooring. Christian Ventura says he's trying to find as much work as he can, but with his criminal record, he relies on food stamps to make ends meet. So I would cut it down to like one or two meals a day. If that, you know, sometimes I wouldn't, I would just drink some water or something, you know. As an able-bodied adult with no kids, Ventura is among the 26,000 San Diegans subject to new rules on work requirements scheduled to begin in April. To continue getting food stamps, he'll have to show he's working at least 20 hours a week. A challenge, he says, because he works for a temp agency. Sometimes we only work like maybe once or twice a week. And it's like, if that, you know, so like, it's just kind of hard to up and down, you know. These are taxpayer dollars. President Trump takes that very seriously. And every dollar that's uh, given to somebody who is not, uh, who does not qualify, not somebody who is able-bodied, is taking resources away from the people who actually truly need it. Vince Hall of Feeding San Diego says the cost of verifying people's work requirements will likely exceed the food stamps themselves, which average about $140 a month. Hunger is not going to motivate people who are already highly motivated, but it is going to disable their ability to find good productive jobs, to engage in meaningful job training programs. Hunger is debilitating, not empowering. As for Christian Ventura, I want to stay off the streets. I want to stay out of doing stuff that I used to do. He says if he loses his food stamps, he could lose his freedom. And I'll probably end up going back to prison. Derek Stahl, 10 News. The multi-state lawsuit claims the Trump administration did not follow proper procedures and is undermining the original goal of the food stamp program to alleviate hunger. The Trump administration says the change would save about $5.5 billion over five years.